All right, guys, by request, resonance structures of the nitrate ion NO3 minus. Step one, we need some kind of valid Lewis structure here. Nitrogen brings five electrons each, oxygen brings six each, and we have a bonus electron because it's NO3 minus. Adding all that together, you end up with 24 electrons. So, nitrogen in the center, oxygen's around it, we need 24 electrons. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, and we're done. That's all we can do. Is that 24? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, gotcha. Always good to double check. So, the only problem here is we don't have enough electrons on the N. The N is one of only four atoms that follow the octet rule. That's carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. So we need to take those two electrons and create a double bond. But here's the deal with nitrate. That electron pair that now is double bonded to the N could have really just been any of the electron pairs on these oxygens. It could have just as easily come from that oxygen, and it could have just as easily come from that oxygen. Because there's ambiguity in where the electrons could have come from in the Lewis structures, we say that these are resonance structures for the nitrate anion. Let me just finish filling in all my There we go, 24 electrons each. And you'll notice the only difference between them is that sometimes the lower oxygen gets the dull bond, sometimes this oxygen does, and sometimes this oxygen does. The actual structure for the NO3 minus ion is a combination of all three of these. There are no single and double bonds. They're all kind of one and a third bonds. We know this because when we do studies about the nitrate anion and their bond lengths, we find all of the bonds are exactly the same. And again, that's because this isn't some double bond that travels around. The actual structure is some kind of combination of these. So the actual structure is much more like this. Uh, I don't know if I... I don't know if I have enough electrons hanging out around here, but let's say I do anyways. The resonance structures you can create simply by pushing electrons around. You could take this double bond, put it back on the oxygen, and then simply move those electrons into the double bond. You could push those back to the oxygen and move those to the double bond to get this. You can push electrons around, or you can simply look at it and say, oh, the electrons could have come from here, or here, or here. And thus, the actual structure is a combination of the three. And the important thing here is, each of these bonds is equivalent. There are no distinct double and single bonds. All right, that's it. Best of luck to you.